Well, one of the questions that I get uh, quite a bit is how to move Lightroom from one computer to another computer. And it's always a weird kind of a video to do because I never think about it. Like when I have to move a computer, it's usually, you know, it's usually in a rush. You know, I usually got a new laptop or something and, you know, I don't know if I'm the only one, but I wait till the last minute and, and I usually have to do it right away. And then, you know, so the process is done. It's always hard for me to record that. Um, and I've never had another computer. I always just move up laptops. I've never had a desktop, but I actually just got an iMac. And uh, so now I have a laptop and a desktop. And I figured, let me show you guys how I got my, my Lightroom from my laptop over onto my desktop computer that's right here. So we're going to start over on the, uh, on the laptop side of things. And the main thing, the main thing to understand is that uh, before we even get into moving the catalog, you know, this is what makes Lightroom tick. Let's go take a look in the library and I'm going to go to my folders and you're going to see here, look under, you know, this is the Macintosh hard drive. This is the local hard drive that's on this laptop. And you're going to see all of these, all of these folders inside of here. Lightroom is simply referencing the photos in there. Okay. Lightroom, Lightroom never owns your photos. There's no option to have Lightroom own your photos. It's only referencing those photos where they exist on your hard drive when you imported them. So this desktop folder here, this, this is my desktop folder. Okay. It's not inside of Lightroom. Lightroom's just looking on the desktop for whatever photos are there. Um, I don't do this a lot, but most of these photos are just tutorial files and things. Now, what I do use is if you go down here and you look at this photo drive, number one, that is my external photo drive. That's where I put all of my photography. So, I put everything there. It's got all these question marks on it right now. And that's because it's not attached to this laptop. So that's why it's got question mark, but you're going to see how that comes to play, especially when we move it over here. That's why I always recommend using an external hard drive. If you're going to use multiple computers, because you know, now I just plug it into whatever drive I want. Cause remember this catalog that I'm looking at on my laptop, it's looking in very specific places for these photos there. It's looking where I told them that they were when I imported them. So if I just bring it over here, and I don't replace those photos in exactly the same place. I'm going to get all these question marks, which you will see in just a second. All right. So now that we got that behind us, this, uh, right up here and then you can see the title bar lightroom six dot LR cat. Um, this is, this is the catalog file that makes lightroom tick. It's got everything inside of it. It's got all the pointers to all the places where it's looking for the photos, all the stuff you've done to your photos and your collections and stuff. So we need to get this over. Best way to do that, hop up here to your Lightroom menu, go down to catalog settings, uh, most likely under your edit menu on a PC and uh, open up your catalog settings. You'll see it's got location. All right. So it tells you exactly where that catalog is. Easiest thing to do is just click show. It's going to show you that folder. You open up that folder and it shows you all the, the files inside of it. The catalog is the main one. The previews are also important because that keeps you, know, you from having Lightroom from having to rebuild previews for photos that you may look at often. So that always takes a couple of seconds. So it holds all that stuff as well. That's why that file gets pretty big. Uh, some of these other ones are temporary files. So here's what you want to do is you want to go back over to Lightroom. You want to close and quit out of Lightroom. And then you'll see those temporary files go away. We don't want to move those. The, it locks Lightroom while it's open. So we don't want to move all that stuff. Now you've got to get this folder and I, you can do separate files. But my guess would be, uh, it's easiest just to go up a level and take that whole folder there. All right. You're going to take that folder and yours may be called something different, whatever you named your catalog, you're going to take that whole folder. You've got to now move it over somewhere. So how are you going to do that? Um, I'm on a Mac. I use airdrop. So if I click on airdrop, you'll actually see, it's going to show me my iMac in just a second here. So I can literally drag and drop it onto my, my, my desktop here. Um, windows has something similar. If you're not using either of those, those air dropping type technologies, you can literally plug in an external hard drive, put it on there, unplug it, move over to your desktop, plug it in there, put it on there and then move it to, and what you generally want to do is move it to the same place. So most of the time Lightroom defaults to your pictures folder, but it's easiest if you move it to the same place. So now let's switch over to the desktop side of things. And, um, and so what are we, uh, what are we working with here? Well, AirDrop puts everything into my downloads folder. So you'll see there is the, uh, the Lightroom six folder. Okay. Now again, I can go put it into my pictures folder. It just, 
keeps things tidy because it keeps things, everything in your pictures folder. You probably don't want Lightroom 6 in your downloads folder, but it honestly doesn't matter. When I open this up, you'll see here's the catalog. And now to launch Lightroom, all I have to do is double click Lightroom 6 catalog and it's going to open Lightroom up. All right. So it actually doesn't matter where I put it on my computer. It can be anywhere. It's just going to open up that catalog. You can see it right up here, right at the top. It's opened up that catalog. So now let's talk a little bit about what's going on inside of it. Um, what's going on inside here, if you go to your, your folders panel, is it is looking in the same exact place that the laptop was looking for photos, right? So your next job would be is if you store a lot of photos on your local computer drive, your next job is going to be you've got to get those photos from wherever they were on your, your laptop that's over here. You've got to get those photos over onto your desktop computer, whatever other computer is, you got to get them over and put them in the same exact location because that's what Lightroom is referencing. Remember the photos aren't inside of Lightroom. Lightroom is referencing them in a very specific place. So you've got to put them back into that place. So that would be your, your job. Now, if you're using an external hard drive, and that's why there's all these question marks over here on the left-hand side, because I don't have these folders on the desktop. Now, the nice thing about this is I do have my main photo drive attached. So now you'll see all those photos. There's no question marks over here because all of those photos, it's now looking on, on my external hard drive for those photos. So I don't have to do anything. It's already automatically there. If I were to close this and take this hard drive and attach it to my laptop, those question marks would have gone away because Lightroom's going to, again, look in a very specific place. It's looking on that drive, no matter what computer it is, it's looking on that drive. Okay. So at this point we have Lightroom over, um, we can quit out of Lightroom. If you reopen Lightroom, it actually defaults to opening the last catalog. Even if you didn't put it into the pictures folder, it just opens the last catalog wherever it was. Now you can change that. If you come up here to your, uh, Lightroom catalog settings, um, and then close that window and then go back to your Lightroom preferences. It, so. Some people would redo the video. I'm, I'm not going to do it. Um, it's actually inside of your general preferences. Um, you'll see when starting up, use this catalog. So load the most recent catalog. So when I quit Lightroom, it's always just going to load the most recent catalog that I, uh, I had open last time. Um, so that, that keeps everything moving ahead. We don't have to put the catalog anywhere different if we don't want to, but again, it's easiest if you put it into your pictures folder. So from here, there's one last little thing here. Let's, let's, uh, let's switch back over and that is presets. So how do you get your presets from here over to here? Cause most people and, and the way that I do it as well is our presets are stored somewhere separate. Well, let's hop back into Lightroom over onto, uh, on the laptop over here. And you'll go up here to your Lightroom menu, go down to preferences and you will see over here under presets, the presets tab. You can show that Lightroom presets folder. So I'll click on there and there is my Lightroom presets folder. If I open it up and look inside of there, these are all Lightroom presets. Now you don't have to move every one of them separately. Best thing to do is like we did with the catalog, go back up one level and just take that Lightroom folder. And then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to take it from over here on your laptop somehow get it over here onto your desktop computer. And then what you would do is, is so, you know, if you look over here, here is uh, there's uh, open up this window again, I actually did that. There's my Lightroom folder. And if I look inside of it, it's got all of my presets inside of there. So that's the Lightroom folder. What you can do is open up Lightroom, go to the same place you went before when you're over on your laptop, show presets folder there is the Lightroom presets folder and literally just take the one that you copied over from your laptop. You can literally just take drag and drop it over onto this location and it'll overwrite the previous one. Uh, you're probably going to have to restart Lightroom for the new presets to take and for Lightroom to recognize them. But that would be the process to, to basically move everything, everything from that was on your laptop side of things, everything from over here, over to here, the catalog, remember the photos, that's up to you. You've got to get those into the same place. It could be easy if you store everything on an external hard drive than just to plug the hard drive in and you're, you're done. But if you store everything on your local computer, you better make sure you copy those over to the same location on that desktop 
And then your presets are also pretty easy. The easiest thing to do is if you haven't done anything on this computer yet, literally just overwrite the Lightroom folder and it'll just use all those new presets. If you didn't, if you have some presets on both, there's no trick to it. You'll manually have to go through there and you'll actually have to copy those, those individual folders over. Make sure you don't lose any of your presets if you have separate ones on both. Okay. So hopefully that helps you out guys. It's uh, it's a video I get asked about quite a bit and I've never really been able to do it because again, just circumstances, but now I'm, I'm literally in this phase that I know a lot of people are where I've got a laptop, I've got a desktop and I want to make sure what I had over here is now moved over on to here. All right. Thanks guys for watching. Appreciate it. Talk to you again very, very soon.